scarf. We need people like you. Roots. I'd be asked to explain if you can be bothered to understand. I can't be asked to explain if you can't be bothered to listen. To understand. Matthew, you've only just come in. I've not even noticed where you've been in the chat. Just goes to show you my mind is on a different level. You know what I mean? I'm moving on. We'll go from little TikTok to big girl things, darling. Next thing, I'll be an astronaut in space. So, you know, be like, guys, we're going live, darling. Or I'll be fucking walking Kilimanjaro, you bitch, darling. Or somewhere amazing, darling, and seeing the real world that we live in and not fucking your reality fucking TikTok absolute shit show in the UK. <clears throat> you know, your heart's to beat. You know, your heart, we have a heart, it beeps. But what I've been finding out about actually what your heart can do. <clears throat> but you're all not able to use your heart because you're too negative with everything. So you don't let it shine through of the good, positive stuff. You're too surrounded by yourself. And only yourself. And all the bullshit. So how are you ever going to learn? You can't even get out of that box. You're just shoved in a box. You know, like the battered um, chickens in Nando's um, that are, like, cramped together. That's, like, you lot in a box that's cramped together. And I'll listen to anything. So it's not really that difficult to be able to control the world, is it, sweetheart? Or control the people or tell them anything, darling. I mean, it's actually fucking hilarious, sweetheart. I mean, it's all a big game, sweetheart, if you ask me. Um, and as an outsider who is Chelsea the Yacht, that's not in that box. That I'm on the outside of that box. That's why you're all in my box watching me. Because I'm not in the box, am I? I'm out of the box. So there we go, sweetheart. Uh, and most creators, entertainers, artists are outside the box. Alexa, tell me about artists and musicians that live outside the box and that are not sheep in the box. Kanye West has found over the course of his entire career never to be placed in a box. Something that's evident from his last two solo tours. Glo Kanye West comes up. Fucking legends. Alexa, continue. Resuming Amazon Music. Alexa, stop. Alexa. How do I get her to say what she's saying? Alexa, tell me about most artists... Uh, musicians that live outside the box and not in the box. Live Outside is by Enter Shikari. With Alexa, stop. Alexa, tell me why musicians and artists live outside the box and don't live in the box like a sheep. From Ablison.com Being a musician offers boundless artistic experimentation. Enabling musicians to push boundaries, challenge norms, and create something unique, leading to personal growth. Norms, I can't cope, darling. It was just on about Kanye. So Kanye West... Alexa, tell me when Kanye West said that he doesn't live in a box. From wikipedia.org. West initially shared the song via his blog on September 10th, 2008, before re-recording it after negative reactions. Oh, why does she not tell me what I'm fucking asking for? Why is this thing so confusing? Alexa, tell me what Kanye West said about being an artist and not living in the box, living outside the box. From oldtimermusic.com As an artist, Kanye West consistently emphasises the importance of self-expression, staying true to oneself and overcoming obstacles. Anyway, don't worry about it. This thing is so fucking dumb. 
Kanye West criticizes the obsession with materialism and the detrimental impact it can have on artists and society as a whole. From oldtimermusic.com Kanye West speaks to the idea that being the center of attention can be isolating and that he feels like he is constantly putting on a show for others. Oh, is Alexa, tell me about a musician and artists that live outside the box and not in the box like sheep. From oldtimermusic.com Ill Noises track, Outside the Box, released on September 15th, 2014, is an inspiring rap song that encourages listeners to step outside their comfort zones and embrace their individuality. Well, absolutely, so yeah. <laughs> Alexa, tell me about the Antarctic melting. I know about 6,200 mountains in Antarctica, including Mount Vinson, Mount Tyree, Clinch Peak, and Corbett Peak. The actual mountains in the Antarctic kind of looks like my neck. Look at the mountains in the Antarctic. The pyramids, darling. See, there's one there. That's a pyramid. That is a pyramid. <clears throat> so they've been hiding all the pyramids. Oh, you listen, there's fucking like the Egyptians, you know, when they built. How the fuck? I just want to know. How the fuck do you make these kind of buildings in the middle of the desert? How the, like, how does that, it's just, it's so bizarre, sweetheart. How the fuck is it all hidden? Is there something in the Bible or something that says, um, it's in all the religious books? It just is insane, basically. It says, um, I've been watching too much conspiracies and all this and that, but there's boats that have gone from all over the world to the Antarctic, yes or no? And then I've seen the guy climb up the ladders and go on top and, like, I mean, is it AI? <laughs> there was once massive giants. Well, maybe they're aliens that have done that. Because how the fuck does mankind build these buildings that are just... Like, how? They can't even do that now. So how would they have done it back in the day? It doesn't even make no sense. Look at some of these buildings. Like, what the actual hell? That was it. It says something about the... The desert used to have water. So in Egypt and all these places, there used to be water and then it dried out. And they say that when the prophet comes back or when God's supposed to come back and help everyone, the water's going to come back. And they're saying that they've had um, signs of water, like obviously with Dubai with being flooded and and that's a sign apparently in the religious book but to be honest that's probably mankind fucking around with the cladding in it so you just don't know what to believe so you don't. do you think this is kind of and then obviously the pacific ocean and the atlantic ocean well they don't connect so it's like oil and water they don't go together they're separated it's global warming. So obviously with the sun, having two moons, sorry, two moons. Does anyone know about explaining this? Or do you just think that there's one moon in the sky? Alexa, tell me about the war. doesn't listen to me. Alexa, tell me about the two moons in the sky. It's ignoring me. 
to za moje dziecko. No. <laughs> Hello, Alexa. Okay, now she'll never save her sister, darling. Hello, Alexa. Hello, Alexa. Hello. Hey, help me duck. Hey, help me duck. Quack, fucking quack. See, I forgot what I was going to say to her then. Alexa, tell me about the two moons in the sky. I mean, it's all over the news, sweetheart. From saraskoop.com. The two moons symbolize duality, a balance between your conscious and subconscious mind. The two moons, but this is in the fucking sky, sweetheart. Subconscious and subconsciousness mind. I mean, this is all going crazy, sweetheart. Imagination. Why would it? And then art comes up. Imagination is the production of sensations, feelings, and thoughts informing oneself. These experiences can be recreations of past experiences, such as vivid memories with imagined changes, or completely invented and possibly fantastic scenes. Well, I'm not lying, am I? It's all over fucking. TikTok, sweet. Oh, why do I look like I'm a lion? Like, everyone's been talking about the two moons. And here's more about that. Awfully great for Amanda. Well, tell me more, Alexa. A will and testament is a legal document that expresses a person's wishes as to how their property is to be distributed after their death and as to which person is to manage the property until its final distribution. Oh, well, thanks for that, sweetheart. Great information. <laughs> Curiosity is a car-sized Mars rover exploring Gale Crater and Mount Sharp on Mars as part of NASA's Mars Science Laboratory mission. The mind is that which thinks, feels, perceives, imagines, remembers, and wills. Alexa, tell me about the two moons in the sky. From saraskoop.com. The two moons symbolize duality, a balance between your conscious and subconscious mind. Alexa, BBC News, having two moons in the sky, 2024. I'm not quite sure how to help you with that. Oh, my God. Why does she... It's all over the place. But why not as Alexa? Alexa, tell me about the recent news with seeing two moons in the sky. This is how you... From ibetimes.sg. The most recent occurrence of two supermoons in one month was in January 2018. And we won't witness this phenomenon again until January 31st, 2037 as confirmed by NASA. So is it all lies what they're saying about two moons? It's an astronaut. Alexa, what is covering the moon at the minute? From Cornell.edu. Nothing is covering the moon. Part of it is just not illuminated as it is facing away from the sun. All right, this is another thing. Listen to this, right? <sighs> the guy in America is a farmer and he's got sunflowers. He's got a field full of sunflowers. But he realises that the sunflowers are facing down and not facing the sun as they normally would and he's totally in shock over the whole situation and there was a comment on the video that said because there's the, the sunflowers are shining at you because you're the star <laughs> and i had to like it he had like thousands of likes on it it was hilarious and uh, this guy's just a farmer you know he's just got sunflowers in the field god knows what's going on but he was in shock because, you know, a farmer, you see your sunflowers and you see how the sunflower is and it faces the sun. 
So for it to not actually face the sun, that's a bit strange. So the fact that whatever's gone over the fucking moon, they're calling it two moons. But maybe it's a fucking... I don't know. What is it then? An astronaut? How can an astronaut be so big? It's two suns, darling. Two moons, sorry. Are they just lying to us? Alexa, tell me about the latest predictions out of The Simpsons. Here is an answer from an Alexa Answers contributor that I translated. Here's a prediction from The Simpsons for 2024. The metaverse will become an essential part of everyday life. This prediction is based on several episodes of The Simpsons, which portray the metaverse as an immersive virtual reality that people use to work, socialize, and have fun. A metaverse. Futurama is an American animated science fiction sitcom created by Matt Groening for the Fox Broadcasting Company and later revived by Comedy Central and then Hulu. Well, I'm not asking about that. I was on about The Simpsons, for fuck's sake. Here's a prediction for the from The Simpsons. The metaverse will become an essential part of everyday life. This prediction is based on several episodes of The Simpsons, which portray the metaverse as an imam. I can't read properly. It's better when they fucking show me the pictures. Why do I have to reset? This is the same when someone told her she was TikTok famous. Oh, no one cares, no, I couldn't care, care. If all the apps get taken down, I hope so. <laughs> what would you do, little rats? Go through some suffering. Take the fucking internet away from you if I was fucking president, sweetheart. Little absolute nobodies. Come to Boston. We need to get um to get all the USA. Donald Trump supporters gifting you absolutely, Amanda, darling. We have you been. I've missed you. Did you hear the Earth is actually flat? Well, I know the Antarctic and it carries on, darling, but why would you tell you lot everything about life? No, why don't you find out for yourselves, darling? It's not for everyone to know. Depends how special you are. Well, yeah, it's all going down, sweetheart. I know your real name is Leanne. Well, yeah, everyone go and check out my uh, Instagram. Leanne Feely, darling. We do, and we remember what's said by who. Celia, did you hear Madonna? Said she wants to do a Christmas song with you. I'll share it with you. Claire, Madonna. Oh, darling, the material girl. And I've got the safety pin. Because <laughs> we are living in a material world. And I've got the safety pin. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> Bloody hell, sweetheart. We'll have all the safety pins, Madonna. Um, Alexa, play relaxing small music. No, Alexa, play Alien music. Alien by Jerry Goldsmith on Amazon Music. Who's Jerry Goldsmith? Why do they always have to be called gold? Alien by Jerry Goldsmith. Oh, 
Oh, this is great alien music. I have a question. It's the film. Oh, is this the film, Aliens? Because it's a green man. Alexa, is the aliens that live in the Antarctic? <laughs> From Antarctica, gov.o. Although the existence of aliens in Antarctica remains unproven, scientists continue to search for signs of microbial life in the continent's extreme environments. Alexa, is the aliens that live on this planet? Here are a few movies playing near London today. Oh, piss off, sweetheart. Alexa, stop. Alexa, tell me about an alien. The word alien traditionally referred to someone foreign to the land they're living in. In the modern day, the term is more usually used to apply to extraterrestrials <sighs> or hypothetical life forms which didn't originate on Earth. Alexa, tell me about the Man on the Moon. Man on the Moon is a 1999 biography film starring Jim Carrey, Danny DeVito, and Jerry Becker. Jim the Carrey. life and career of legendary comedian Andy Kaufman. Oh the film is one hour and 58 minutes long. The movie has a rating of 7.4 out of 10 on IMDb based on around 139,000 votes. Is that it? 139,000, is that it? It just don't tell you nothing. I'm better off just coming off this and just doing and see what pops up. I'm not adding no one. I don't want to talk to no one. I'm my own creator. I'm not into talking to anyone at the minute. Alexa, tell me about the government having technology of an iPhone over 30 years ago. From Nintel.com. For the iPhone, many of the revolutionary technologies that make it and similar devices smart were funded by the US government, such as the Global Positioning System, or GPS, the touchscreen display, and the voice-activated personal assistant, Siri. Oh, it's doing my head in. It's not telling me nothing. This is like, you wouldn't even be able to find fuck all out off Alexa. She's just useless, darling. She's going in the bin, darling. Do you always go on live? I've got loads of accounts. Alexa, tell me about a UFO. UFO is a noun meaning any unexplained moving object observed in the sky, especially one assumed by some observers to be of extraterrestrial origin. All right, so why do they tell pilots not to speak about what they see in the sky? Alexa, any stories from pilots that have seen anything mysterious in the sky? I'm having trouble hearing. I thought you would. Can be. you say that again? Alexa, tell me why pilots can't tell people what they see in the sky. From executiveflyers.com. Typically, pilots cannot see buildings because they're not detailed enough to be recognized from high altitudes. Well, you're not going to be seeing buildings in the fucking sky, are you? Is this machine all right? Since when is the buildings in the middle of the clouds, darling? Unless there's ones that we don't know about, so you are living on cloud nine. What about that? Okay, now. 
That's one for you, darling. They must have got that from somewhere. I wonder if nine clouds, living on nine cloud nine exists. Hmm. Alexa, tell me about cloud nine. From wellesley.edu. Cloud nine is a service that allows you to create virtual machines, workspaces, and integrated development environments, IDEs, that are based in the cloud. It's a service that allows you to... You're hilarious, darling. There's technology being built in the clouds. Now is the... Alexa, tell me about Cloud9. Cloud9 is a 2006 comedy film starring Burt Reynolds, D.L. Hughley oh. and Paul Rodriguez. What is a a film? No one asked. star in need of money has a get rich plan. Start a volleyball team whose players consist of group of beautiful athletic strippers. Oh, the God. film is one hour and 33 oh, minutes God, long. God, the movie has a rating of 4.2 out of 10 on IMDb based on around 1,300 votes. Cloud 9, everyone go check it out. On Cloud 9. Oh, I'll just forget it. Alexa, tell me about Area 52. From RobloxJP.com. Area 52 is a top secret, secure, and undisclosed US military facility located deep within a mountain in Colorado. Oh, that's where the base is then, if there's any things going down. Maybe that's what I see in because it's based in a mountain. But they've been doing a lot of work. Oh, let's have a look. From chess.com. Area 52 is believed to serve as a facility for classified research and development activities, potentially involving advanced aerospace technology and intelligence operations. Oh, it's on in. Follow the yellow brick road. Da -da 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 -da. Alexa, is there a tunnel under Eiffel Tower? From DestinationsUnknown.com Yes, a secret military bunker exists under the Eiffel Tower with a hidden tunnel to a nearby military school. Oh. Alexa, where are the bunkers in the UK? From HampshireLive.News Hundreds of nuclear bunkers are dotted around the UK with around 60 of them located in Hampshire. Hampshire, darling to get myself to Hampshire, sweetheart. From metro.co.uk In Wales, there are about a dozen bunkers spread across the country, while Scotland has about 23 shelters dotted around Glasgow and Edinburgh. Glasgow and Edinburgh, sweetheart. <laughs> this is insane. Oh, it's on in. <clears throat> Alexa, what's a superhuman? The adjective superhuman is usually defined as above or beyond what is human, having a higher nature or greater powers than humans have. For more, ask me to give you more definitions for superhuman. Alexa, tell me about Area 51. Area 51 is the common name of a highly classified United States Air Force facility within the Nevada Test and Training Range. Alexa, tell me about Area 53. The Area 53 Festival is a music festival. It is held in Austria. Alexa, tell me about Area 54. According to an Alexa Answers contributor, Area 54 is an American government facility built during the 1970s and located in a remote area of the Northeast. Alexa, tell me about Area 56. From the internet.io, Area 56 is a secret base located in Dulce, New Mexico. Alexa, tell me about Area 57. Area 57 is a Malawi neighborhood. 
Alexa, tell me about Area 58. Aerospace Data Facility East, also known as Area 58 and formerly known as Defense Communications Electronics Evaluation and Testing Activity, is one of three satellite ground stations operated by the National Reconnaissance Office in the continental United States. Alexa, tell me about Area 59. From District 25R.org. Area 59 covers the entire eastern half of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania stretching from the Delaware River to the western border of Tioga, Clinton, Center, Mifflin, and Juniata counties while also including parts of Huntington and Fulton counties. Alexa, tell me about Area 60. Bridgeport is one of the 77 community areas in Chicago on the city's south side bounded on the north by the south branch of the Chicago River, on the west by Bubbly Creek, on the south by Pershing Road, and on the east by the Union Pacific Railroad tracks. Alexa, tell me about Area 99. According to an Alexa Answers contributor, Area 99 is a fictional location that appears in the Sonic X anime series. It is the secret military and research base established by GUN, which houses much of the military's weapons. It is located in the midst of a desert near the edge of a cliff. Alexa, tell me about Area 69. Sorry, I don't have an answer for that. <laughs> Alexa, tell me about Area 100. According to an Alexa Answers contributor, Ohio. Area 51 is the common name of a highly classified United States Air Force facility. Is it near Ohio? Nevada test and training range. Alexa, tell me about Area 21. Area 21 is a Malawi neighborhood. Alexa, tell me about Area 5. From Kickstarter.com. Area 5 is a video production company founded in January 2009 by the former staff of 1UP.com's video department. Why is it all like this? Alexa, tell me about Area 43. Alexa, tell me about Area 43. Broadman Area 43, the subcentral area is a structurally distinct area of the cerebral cortex defined on the basis of cytoarchitecture. Alexa, tell me about Area 1. Area 1 is a Kenya neighborhood. Alexa, tell me about Area 2. Area 2 is a Kenya neighborhood. Alexa, tell me about Area 3. Area 3 is an album by Area 3 which was released on the 13th of April 2020 and which is 42 minutes and 18 seconds. Alexa, play Area 3, the album. Area 3 by Area 3 on Amazon Music.
called Area Free of Area Free, the album. Alexa, can you have an MRI if you've got metal inside you? From sciencemuseum.org.uk MRI cannot be used on people who have anything metal inside their bodies, such as a pacemaker. Stacy, thank you, darling. A CT scan. Alexa, what is a CT scan? CT scan usually refers to CAT scan, an examination performed with a CAT scanner. <sighs> probably got a fucking... Probably got one on my fucking brain, sweet aunt, I me. Priyanka, thank you, darling. Oh, you can have a CT, CT with metal, okay. Christina, thank you. Thank you, Stacy. They will give you a blue dye sometimes with a CAT scan. Why would I need to go Turkey for a fucking... I could go and get an MRI tomorrow, booking the same day, man. What are you talking about? Bitch lives in London, sweetheart. These people talk shit, man. Bitch can get a fucking CT scan in the same day, sweetheart. If you got enough money to pay, sweetheart. I do, my dear, absolutely. Thank you, darling. I'm just stressed, man. I just, I'm always stressed, man. My sister, I can't even relax, man. And when I'm relaxing, I'm just watching all these conspiracies. I'm thinking, what the fuck's going on in the world, sweetheart, mind you. <laughs> There's always a reason for summer, you know. I'm best dressed, man. 
No, it's the fact that I've got a safety pin in my stomach and my neck. I'm thinking, what the fuck is going down? I'm in shock. Just like if you found a fucking screwdriver in your fucking bond, that's what you're like, you'd be in shock. Don't tell me nothing, darling. I don't know, darling. Alexa doesn't say fuck all. Alexa, dangers of having a safety pin stuck in your stomach. It ignores me. Alexa, the dangers of having a safety pin in your body. Won't even answer me. Alexa, go and jump in the fucking ocean. Alexa, dangers of having a metal object in your body. From clevelandclinic.org. If you have too much metal accumulated within your body, it can damage your vital organs like your brain and liver. No wonder. Well, there you go, sweetheart. No wonder a which has got a damaged fucking brain, sweetheart. Maybe the reason I've been eating so much liver, darling. Well, that explains it. Alexa, dangers of having a safety pin stuck in your organs. From coloringfile.com. Using the wrong type of safety pin can lead to infections, injuries, or complications. I got a present today off Natalie. She got me this misty on. And she bought me some earrings from Panadora. Look, she's like shine like a star. <laughs> Rose roses because she knows I love roses. Bless her. Yeah. Bless her.
your roses. I'm all hot, man. I'm like literally sweating. I think it's. I'm just hot. Alexa, play music from Area 51. Rerush Area 51 by DJ Kyle on Amazon Music. Oh, man, breathe out. They're casting rich stuff on our bodies. Don't worry, aliens. We got this. We got the aliens. Thank you. 
does it for Harambe, keeping us posted from Monday to Sunday. Minking on Twitter, this man is a god. Smokes on Joe Rogan, hitting the blood. Thinking a lot about human creation, believing we all live in a simulation. He builds rockets and electric cars, takes on AI plans, Jurassic Park sets new standards, pushes for. I've got a few trouble but all over. Should have won a bit. these kind of geniuses know what time it is darling your life would be so dead man because your brains are not that fucking equipped to be able to even think about creating and doing these things because you're too slow poisons doctor what is it it's a lizard Born in New York, he went to Harvard school. A nerdy boy that thought that rating girls is cool. He ripped his friends off. Oh, that's cool. Let me copy that. Copy Snapchat, copy TikTok, copy Twitter. Threats. And to appear more human, he wants to a class. To hide the fact that it's a lizard <laughs> sipping from a glass. Suck, suck. Even his wax figure looks more lively than him. Even this CPR dummy. Mark, all you gotta do is blink. Blink, 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 blink. blink. Mark, just blink. Blink, 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 blink. Mark. <laughs> Try to look human, it's a lot of work. Hi, my name is Mark Zuckerberg. Your friend be named <laughs> from the metaverse. Hi, my name is Mark Zuckerberg. What a nice guy. He's just like you and me. Totally normal. The richest millennial. Just your ordinary guy. But doesn't know how much sunscreen he needs to apply. <laughs> Am I? A great wine? No, it's just Mark surfing by heading over to the octagon. So soon almost. He has a practice to suck. <laughs> so Stores in his ass, they call it soccer twerk. Soccer twerk, 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 twerk. That booty, soccer twerk, 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 twerk. That booty, try to look human, it's a lot of work. Hi, my name is Mark Zuckerberg, your friendly neighbor from the metaverse. Hi, my name is Mark Zuckerberg, try to look human, it's a lot of work. Hi, my name is Mark Zuckerberg, your friendly neighbor from the metaverse. Hi, my name is Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> 
don't know what this is. I've never heard it before. You know that feeling? Coming home after a long day, starting your PC, and there's this brand new shooter waiting for you. It's your new favorite. Yeah, I live in a squat. Battle bit song, DJ Kyle. I don't know, Alexa, stop. It's just trying to find different stuff out there, darling, and see what they're playing on the music, because the music is very powerful for the mind. Sometimes it can suck you right in. Like the scrubbers that you are get sucked into the absolute dog shit. Um, play some drum and bass, absolutely not. <coughs> 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 oh, darling. Play Define Gravity, absolutely not. Totally fell off the app, fucking brilliant. So what's working, darling? Um, Big Brother, what, so they can shout roots in the house, darling? Or Buyokai on the place. Or are they actually going to come out with something better, darling? Because I'm dying to see the imitators. The absolute copycats, darling. Can't wait. Because if anyone's inspired them, sweetheart, it's definitely me. The lights are pinging, not my eyes, darling. <clears throat> Um, absolutely. <clears throat> now I should look at the scan, darling, because when I was looking at it, I was seeing such a vision in art. I was thinking about art and painting. And, you know, the colours. I suppose it's like, um, reading a fucking computer map. Or like saying this is that, that's that. Fucking lights are flashing. Play some techno. <laughs> Absolutely not, darling. Fucking techno out of here with your stringy balls, darling. Um, <laughs> I've got you tripping. <laughs> Um, I've just been talking, I've been listening to some music. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Didn't even know half the people he's talking about. I haven't got a fucking clue. Is the guy from fucking America or London? Because what's he talking about? Anyway, whatever he was talking about in London, I forgot. Um, are you good, memory loss, sweetheart? <laughs> sausage surprise. There'll be none of them around here, sweetheart. We don't do sausages no more. <sighs> Oh, we love you, darling. Thank you, sweetheart. I'll be doing it myself before I do anyone, so yeah, I'll tell you that for sure. Which is definitely not desperate. Um, 
a voice changer. I don't know. Maybe it's the safety pin that's been shoved in there, sweetheart. From fucking, I don't know. Oh, listen, I'm literally fucking horrified with what I've seen. Like, literally. Just think a bitch could be full of safety pins. Could have them in my legs, my bundle. They could be floating around everywhere. <sighs> Imagine I've got them in my chest. Oh, my Lord. I just don't even want to know no more. It's fucking nuts, mate. Bitches affected. Like, to have such a big safety pin, that's just some madness. It's really messed my head up. Psychic abilities. Well, not fucking really, sweetheart. I might remember a few dreams. Oh. My girl's tripping the back it out, darling. I'm looking at my art. It's amazing. Do you want to see? Because sometimes it's better than looking at me. Because I'm just Chelsea Leo. French tomato. Because when you put this up, um. It's just fire in the booth, darling. I mean, this bit here is brilliant, isn't it? Like this bit, where it's, it looks like a guy's head with the sun or like the moon. But it's like the face with the big smile and then the arms going down. Look, there's a leaf. But then it's like a shoe. Because you can see the heel here, and there's the shoe going down the parts of the shoe. But it's, yeah, but then, yeah, it looks like characters in it. The eye, the mouth. <laughs> you know, and then... The eye's definitely important. And I always do the earrings um, with the big hair. <clears throat> But yeah, it's um Oh shit, what have I done with the colour? I'm doing the fucking sorry, I'm doing the lighting thing. I'm pressing it by accident. Oh for fuck's sake, darling. Oh, but it's a bit mad still. So everyone can tell a Chelsea to go. So, you know, you can go and trip out on this, darling. Or you can go and trip out on this even better. Why don't you go and trip out on this bad boy, sweetheart? You know, I can feel like I can look at this painting and go, you know what? I can say this one with chest because it's sick. And to not even know what you're doing, just to have this ability. So there we go. And um, my colouring book will be based on artwork like I do that I don't know what I'm doing. I just, um, so that's what makes me special because I'm representing my art, Chelsea Lee Art. Official. Absolutely. But you might as well go trip out at this bad boy. That's all I'm going to say to you. And, um... You know, I'm a different kind of artist. But I'll definitely do a paint-by-numbers book for you because, you know, I know how you guys like all that. I don't know, what does this painting say to you guys? Hey Chelsea, long time, how are you? 
Uh, I love that one so much. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Are you tripping out off it yet? See the lollipop. Chelsea, um... Oh, the salt lamps, no. Oh, no, I've had them for ages, sweetheart. But yes, darling, we'll have all the artwork. <clears throat> so yes, darling, <clears throat> we'll have all the silk curtains. These are what you call proper curtains, because you can actually see when you look at the tops of the curtains. These are the silk. <laughs> Materials fabulous. Oh, silk. <sighs> Don't suppose it matters. You know, what they say. See the woman in the middle. But I always get birds, man. She's got a bundle in his face. Uh roots to an MPC live. Oh yes, Chelsea, we'll have all the paintings on. <laughs> Versace on the wall, yeah. <laughs> Versace on the wall. Ah, oh, it's on him. Electrician put me some decent fucking lights up, man. Can't cope with these dusty fingers behind the thing looks like it's from the 1920s. Oh. <coughs> 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 I think that he fell down. Tried to, I took the lamp off and thrown it away now. It's far too heavy. I mean, it looks like something from a war zone. Do you want to see? It's horrendous. And they've probably been up there for about 50 years, though. Oh, it's definitely a new cell by date. Um, fucking hell, darling. It's just... Never seen anything like... Look how dark it's gone. Or, like, this thing... Obviously, because, you know, I haven't touched none of these wires because I'm not an electrician, so obviously all I can do is put the fucking... Look how it's... Look, it's, like, falling down, man. They need to sort this out, man. It's fucking... Some ghetto light that I need to sort it out. Hazards. <laughs> well, it's how they, it's how it is, man. Not what time it is. Anyway, so I'll just get an electrician out. That's what I'm going to do. And I can get some bougie sockets and uh, switches. Um... I mean, because to be honest, even if I got like a new kitchen, which is what I'm trying to do, you know, I mean, it would be awesome. Say, um, you know, honest to God. <laughs> See, I've got safety pins inside, so, you know, I'm just, um, 
I'm just so affected by this, is what I've seen on the fucking x-ray. Oh my lord. <laughs> just imagine I could have never knew if I didn't go. There's always something in life that makes a sister fucking just, it's just insane. That's what I mean in life, always know what time it is. Be thankful what you have right in front of you. Absolute prayers, darling. We all have to be thankful and grateful and pray to God, sweetheart. Um, well, we'll have all the safety pins. Not sure if it's been put in there for safety reasons, you know. Oh, we love you, girl. It's not even a joke, sweetheart. I don't even know how the safety pins. It's madness. So madness. I swear. <clears throat> I need to not touch this phone no more because the fucking radiation is just, you know, it's too much. Go away. Man, go and fly in the fucking sky for me like a fucking drone. Come to me. I'll tell you to piss off and go further back. You know, it should be straightforward, darling. Never mind Alexa. We'll have all the CLA equipment, darling. I make my own fucking range, darling. <clears throat> Better than Alexa, sweetheart. Something that actually fucking understands more. You know. Make a streetwise one. Uh, we love you, darling. You know. Sing for us. Oh. Literally, I'm just, um, I'm just so, like, confused.com. Shine like a star. My lord, man, I'm just saying, like, in life, man, it's like, I don't understand it. I'm just saying it's crazy. I must have been, like, a kid or someone eating fucking... Or someone's done something to me when I've been drugged and all these things in my life. And fucking out of it, darling. God knows, darling. Well, yes. So God knows what people could do to you when you knocked out, innit? it? Fuck knows. And my life's too crazy. I forgot most things. Shine like a star. Oh my days. It's bad. I mean, it's insane, man. It's like you think, what the fuck? It's just like, how? And then. I mean, it's mad. That's why it's always good to get these body scans and all this done in because, you know. To be able to just instantly see into your own body and see everything, what the fuck is going on. It's probably the best thing you could ever do in your life because... Oh, Roots. I can't cope. Roots, darling. But, um... Effect is... <laughs> I can't cope. A stainless steel chip. Clip. Well, fuck knows if the aliens have fucking took me, darling. But she's been pinned up, sweetheart. Call me the pin-up girl, darling. But the safety, uh, clip. We used 
stop going on. I've had enough, man. Fucking hell, man. We all know what's going on with P. Diddy, man. How many times do you have to put the dusty guy's name in my chat? Oh, I can't go. Oh. A BB Chelsea, martial arts, sweetheart. I was at Pete Diddy's party, darling. Why don't you go and um, visit some trees or something, sweetheart? You know. The mouth's dry. Uh, how's my mouth dry? Are you joking? Um... We don't give a shit, darling. Police, um... Sliders. Have you ever drank Bailey's from a shoe? Fuck no, sweet. <laughs> I can't even answer them questions because I wouldn't even know. How the fuck was I supposed to know? Because you'd have to be off your fucking rocker in the first place, darling, to drink anything out of a shoe. But in desperation times, I'm not too sure. So, uh, or I don't know, maybe you had no choice. <laughs> oh. I mean, what do you think, sweetheart? Alexa, play some relaxing spa. The station, spa on Amazon Music. We all know you as living a playboy mansion. <laughs> a roots. A BB, mashallah. Nostrils, Stalin. <laughs> Nostrils. Oh, you're back on the green. Shalari is there. Alhamdulillah, darling. Oh, I'm just trying to show off the brand, Alexandra McQueen. If you know what I mean. Oh. Come to Dubai, my wife. Let's turn the smoother off first, sweetheart. Oh, let's turn off. Oh, no. Ooh. Uh, Priyanka, thank you, darling. Abibi. Oh, no, Abibi. We need to put the smoother back on. No makeup, bitches. You know, bitch, I'm is real, darling. And this is how you know. <laughs> oh, darling. Ah, we'll have all the. I've got to get one tooth. I've had two new crowns, darling. That bicardia soda is whitening in the teeth, darling. I've only put a little bit on. Now we'll have the smoother look. Smooth it all the way. The difference, and then we take it off. But I'm gonna leave it on twenty uh, percent. I'll book you a table first class, but I look just as good like that with the smoother on when I put a bit of makeup on, sweetheart. But then I don't like wearing makeup because I don't like getting anything on my head scarf. Could have cope, but I don't mind a little mascara, lipstick. Yeah, a little bit on the cheeks, darling. 
But then sometimes when you put it on it, it's like, mm, I don't know, because it's so nice when it's not on your skin. And to be quite honest with you, putting makeup on every day is what gives you bad skin. So it's all in that. It's actually bad for you. I book you a plane ticket first class. But we'll have all the emulator salts. So you know. I need to start eating apricot seeds, darling. You have to eat everything from a seed, and now them oranges didn't add a seed in them. I got them from Mox and Spencer's as well. I did get them in the clearance for 53 pence, so. But I know they went juicy, juicy, a little bit dry, but where's the seed, man? I just sucked the juice out, but there wasn't that much. Seedless fruit. Yeah, they take seeds out of grapes, and grapes are supposed to be so good for you. Well, it doesn't exist, because how does a fruit grow without a seed, you fucking idiots? If there's no seed in there, then they're fucking made in a factory. Everything's changed. Um... Oh, you lot are hilarious. Doll face, thank you, sweetheart. Hello, beautiful. Oh, darling, the trolls, darling. I'm so glad that you're still supporting me. I'll never fall off with you lot. How are you? I'm really good. Um, a sister, yeah, man. Me love me food, sweetheart. So I like to go munch, darling. So why don't you piss off, sweetheart, you little troll obsessive. Imagine having a picture of me on your account. You're obsessed, sweetheart. <sighs> You're an absolute nobody. Dull face, thank you, sweetheart. Absolute nobody's darling. <laughs> Should I get a talk? What? I'm just thinking in my head, you know, I've got a lot of things going on. I mean, TikTok and the bullshit on here has definitely not got my head ticking right now. I'm thinking of real things, important shit. Always make sure you use your brain, fucking hell, because you can't use much of it, but whatever you can use. Fucking hell, at least educate yourself a little bit, you know, about certain things, you know. Living in your own little world, not even wanting to know what the real world's like, so you are, that's your own ignorance, darling. So sometimes it's nice to take yourself to them worlds to see what's going on. It just kind of makes you think a bit differently. And plus it's educating. Um, I'm really well, Rebecca, darling. I'm not going live with no one. Sorry, darling. I'm Chelsea Leon and I'm not a big fat fart. I'll tell you loud and clean, and I'll keep being mean and keeping it keen. To all my players, all my viewers in the place, know that I'm not that disgrace. I got silk on my head, I got money on my mind. Let's go. <laughs> uh, I got silk on my head, money in my mind. Uh, yes, darling. <laughs> Can you hear me loud and clear? I got money on my mind. I got silk on my head. I can be funny all the time. If you're with me. <laughs> uh, who's my fave? Yes, I can hear you, darling. 
America here, we love you in the USA. No time to disgrace. Uh, Granny Roots in the place, darling. Eminem would love me, sweet aunt. Big up Eminem because I remember when he was looking for artists to sign up to his record label. I'd definitely be with Kanye and Eminem, sweet aunt. Big up Kanye West because he's a fucking legend. The guy doesn't give a fuck. Uh, I just love him when he's on one. Kanye West is hilarious when he's on one. Um, yeah, it's hilarious. No, I'm just saying, so yeah, you know. Yeah, well, he's brilliant, and we're all fucking nutcases, so yeah. One nutcase can relate to another nutcase, then. Eh? Is that what you want to say? Intelligence, darling. Kanye, sweetheart, affected nostrils. Um, 60, going on 60, you want to say fuck all if Kanye were said and did a track with me, bitch. You know, and then Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, we love all the sisters. Um, <laughs> absolutely, darling. Are you for real where you're wearing on your head is silk, bitch? Something that you could never afford, so yeah. <sighs> oh, darling. Roots in the place. And I'm not a disgrace. I don't care about anyone. Um, your mom's on Bunta Cole, not me, so yeah. I figured LA. Um, Bunta Brush, you can Bunta Brush off out of here, so yeah, with your comments on my chat. Absolute terrible baby, thank you. Thank you for the swans, we are. <laughs> Honestly, like, I'm just looking at the comments and reading out what they're saying. It's just some craziness. I've got some mad people, darling. You are loved. I don't know what's going on, Cassie, sweetheart. Bitch is pinned up, so we are. Call me the pin up queen. And I'm not mean. <laughs> oh, darlings. Well, I hope you're okay. Well, fucking hell, just about, sweetheart. You know, I'm shitting, I'm in a fucking. Imagine I'm going for a fucking... I'm going to get the whole body looked into. I want to see everything. I want to see into my eardrum, see what the fuck's going on there. So I might as well get a whole body scan done and everything. The brain, the fucking head, the arms, the feet, everything. And even have a better look at what's going on in my foot. Um... No one's gonna go to Turkey, darling. I go to Holly Street and I'll piss off. Um, right, let's have subscribers on and get the trolls out for a bit because they're just talking bad nostrils. <laughs> oh, tunnels of mass destruction, darling. Look at these barrels. Oh. Big up to whoever sent the subs. Oh. oh yes, Chelsea will have all the headscarves.
Baby, thank you, darling. Oh, sweetheart, I'm so much better on blonde now. So much better. I don't care about people sobbing. I mean, people will be lucky for me to even come on. I'm busy, you know, these days. It's all right to have a celebration once in a while and just relax. Because especially when you've got pains and all these things, you know, I had that treatment done today, so. And it obviously opens up the blood, so your blood, your flow, your circulation, they're trying to get everything together, you know. Thank you, Lisa. And they've just got to keep, you know, it's all the process, sweetheart. And then I'll be getting stretched out on the good old back, sweetheart. So that's good because when I'm uneven, when they stretch you, they kind of pull you out, you know, right? Oh, <sighs> Fucking hell, darling. I've got stories, all right, sweetheart. There's a new one coming out every day, darling. My Lord, man, I might as well start the book, sweetheart. Okay, that's going to take so long. <sighs> oh, darling. And then you can all read the story. Uh, Lisa, thank you, darling. Thank you, baby. I'm absolutely horrified though, darling. Oh. Imagine like if you've got any more in your arms or this is why you get pains or this and that. It's just crazy. My Lord. I mean, your body's your temple, isn't it? You know, you have to fucking take care of your body and yourself. And, you know, that's all it is. Like, it's crazy when you find out these things. But it's so good. I think we all should be able to just do that anyway. You can just see into yourself, like if they're gonna take technology, um, you know, it should be something that shows you, you know, what the fuck's going on. Maybe that could be the new technology, sweetheart, a device that you step into and then you can just scan yourself. Is that in the other world? <laughs> the green makes you paranoid and uh, ramble nonsense. Ain't no one, darling. I'm thinking into things, sweetheart. It's called opening up your third eye, bitch. And, um, yeah, thinking positive and making, um, being the real artist you are, sweetheart. Make the colours flow. Let the colours blow. Look at the rolls, they're massive in them. I'll get all my artwork in this. Oh, sweet art. The state, that's all my artwork, you bitch, about the state. You are beautiful. I mean, I've just had this, all the paintings done. What do you want me to do? Yeah, I've got to wrap them all in this good bubble wrap, sweetheart. Oh, but yeah, I've been on for quite a while, haven't I, guys? And I can't believe I've not even had the charger. I'm not even gonna drink no more of that tea. 
Oh no, I'm affected, darling. I'm going to stay on for a bit longer. Because I've not been on for so long. So it's alright if I'm just chilling. Oh my god, are these gonna feel mad? These fucking pajama things. But I got these from Marks and Spencer's, but. Oh. I can't believe it. I got bloody fruit and orange and that on my bottoms. No, I wonder if these are gonna be good. Pajama time, darling. Too bad. I can't believe the shirt. Oh my lord. So yeah, these are from Mark Spencer's. The man new pajamas. So these are the new pajamas um, from Marks and Spencer starting um, model. But yes, so these are the pajama bottoms from Marks and Sparks starting. <sighs> Absolute booyaka. Get affected. Nostrils. Get affected, darling. We are caught with the big bundle. <laughs> Your car with a big bundle. Boy, oh. oh. your she's got a big bundle. I mean, this is it in the house. Yes, darling. But she's feeling so much better, she's not, um... <sighs> she is not... a brunette bitch no more. You look great, thank you, sweetheart. I mean, I do love 100% silk. Because it's just the best for your skin. No, it's so the best. I love silk, so yeah. I mean, I should just have everything silk. Because I'm sure on this, um if we know where the fucking um the materials like a mock suspense is done. What's it say about the material? It swears, doesn't it? Like stand out. Oh, they do your fucking edge in these things. 
Why is it so hard to find the fucking ingredients, darling? <sighs> no, I'm just saying, guys, you know. Nostrils, darling. You won't find that in Primark. Definitely not, sweetheart. Absolutely not. You've always got to get the best silk, darling. If it's not silk, you know, if you can't wear plastic, plastic is bad. It melts into your body. Oh. Messes with your hormones. So, when you're wearing plastic, you know what time it is? Every day. Even this from Oxford Spencer's, it's, um, I think it's Visco, which is so shit. I think that's what this is. And the material, I mean, um, absolutely not. Oh, darling. <laughs> it's just freezing on my face. It's crazy. Sea queens are affected. Sometimes this app is hilarious. Like, honestly, it's horrendous. It's like a flashback or something. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> it's good to relax and chat to you guys, you know. The hairbrush, darling. I love all the hairbrushes. Here. I'm, you know, but I'm just focusing on other things at the moment, darling. I'm not really bothered about hairbrushes right now. I mean, if it's something that you want, then, you know. But it just depends. <sighs> Sell them. Oh, darling. Yeah, but I don't know, darling, who'd want one, to be honest. Oh, JJ, you've missed me. That's nice to know. Amy, thank you, darling. Big up Tom, darling. Oh, I might go now. I'm affected. With everything. Sleep well. Sea Queen. I've been hiding with the fucking safety clip, sweetheart. Safety pin, darling. We're literally together, darling. I love you, Pom Pom Towel. Hello, darling. Molly, thank you, Molly. 
My laws. What's a tomorrow? Nothing. Well, put your things but privately. I have to say nothing to you guys. Um, I don't really want to go to sleep at the minute. I'm always up so late. I've been staying awake late because I've been watching bear videos on the night. Oh my lord. I don't understand how I got a safety pin. It's insane, darling. And to not even know where it is, whether it's on the outside or the inside. Um, I mean, obviously, if it's in inside from being a baby, um, oh, fuck, no, it's darling, because... You know, I've only just found this information out now. So, you know, that it's knowing how long it's actually been in there and obviously doctors would be able to know how, if it was new or maybe they are. I don't know. Yeah, I'm fucking terrified, sweetheart. Absolutely affected. We'll have all the safety pins on. Good night, sea queens on him. Oh. <clears throat> Look, let me turn the subs off a minute. Oh, hello, Shell, sweetheart. Mazaz. Hello, darling. Nothing, sister. Um, hon. We'll get it sorted. <laughs> what time is it there, Chelsea? Fucking about three in the morning. Oh, you see me on King's Road? Well, yeah, I'm always up and down the King's Road, darling. Absolutely. Absolute nostrils, darling. It's 4 a.m. <clears throat> Hello, darling. We love you so much in Austria. Um, not Austria. Um, Australia, sweetheart. Oh, Sydney, darling. Oh, home and away. Oh no, it was neighbours, wasn't it? Closer each day. Oh my lord, Chelsea, how am I gonna get through this? I gotta get through this. <laughs> Hello, guys. What the absolute fucking jacket potato has done. I don't even want to say tomatoes. Jacket potatoes. <laughs> jacket potatoes. Where's my x rays? Messiah. <laughs> no carbs. Well, noodles, darling. Oh yeah, of course. Evil Queen is bothered. She messaged me. Um, Chelsea, if you have taken out. Well, I'm not too sure, sweetheart. I mean. You just don't know. It depends what the doctors say. I mean, they're the experts. So obviously I've only just found out, so I haven't spoke to a doctor 
who would obviously have the answers to the questions that, um, you know, I was wanting to find out. Through the spine, having my back examined, sweetheart. This is the spine, darling. But obviously they do the front and then they do the back and then they do from the sides as well. God, these bloody vague things as well. These have got to go, man. Bitches fucking addicted. A doctor was off looked at the x rays. It's just crazy. I've got angels with me, darling. It's just insane, darling. Oh, a standing up uh, MRI, absolutely, darling. I know. <clears throat> Magnets. Oh, shit. <laughs> you lot are hilarious. I'm like a star. Oh, hello, angel. God, it's starting. I'm the fucking safety pin girl, sweetheart. Have you seen, darling? I can't believe it, goddess. I'm just thinking, imagine I am then when I was a baby. Do you know what I mean? Because no one's been eating safety pins, darling. On the size of that, and now it's embedded. Goddess, it's insane, sweetheart. I know when I was a kid I had one floating in my foot, but I think that was only half. I think the needle had snapped and it had gone in my foot and then I had to have an operation to get that taken out because obviously it's floating around. Because <laughs> I remember I had to uh, be put to sleep for that one. Um... Absolutely. <sighs> <sighs> yeah, I'm on, darling. I'm on it. Like a car bonnet. Who gives a fuck about money, uh, my eyes? <laughs> Go and shove the notes up your bundle, sweetheart. I'm pissed off, darling, because no one's bothered about money around here, darling. And shove it up your ass, darling. Piss off. No one cares, darling, as long as they've got a roof over their head, food in their belly. You know. These people, what are you going to do with all your money, man? Not even bothers, man, darling. You look too relaxed. Well, I'm absolutely relaxed. <clears throat> do you know what it is? I need, like, a drone that's above me uh, instead of this phone because, obviously, the radiation. So I have to be at a distance with this bitch. I mean, it should be further away. But then the camera is terrible. 
Oh, so I can't have it like this. Shine like a star. With all the paper fucking clips on it. We we'll love all the paper clips. It's not even a paper clip, it's a fucking safety pin. Affected. But you, I would, if I've had a fucking safety pin, you know, when I was a kid, when I was young, you know, like baby and that, not knowing. Been say I've been on my own, fucking started eating the fucking sewing kit. <laughs> I mean, because that's what babies do, they put everything to their mouth, man. Obviously, you gotta watch them all the time, otherwise, they have fucking choke to death, do <laughs> I mean, do you know what I mean? It's like Jesus Christ, darling. I mean, how the fuck would you get such a needle? Uh, that's mad. And you didn't, I did, like, I didn't feel that. I listen, man, affected, you know. Do you think... Well, I don't know if it's travelling around the body, obviously, darling. It's not been eaten and gone all the way down there for nothing. And then I've got one in my neck. How did you... So I've had two. Or maybe there might be more. I don't know. It's so strange, darling. And it's me, darling. And I'm thinking, how the fuck is this fucking... This is nuts, darling. Like, the only thing you can think is I've had it in for so long. Um, you know, when you were a kid. Fucking hours, that that's the only time, you know. And to have one in my foot, they must have been in my room, but that's when I was older. So, I don't know. I mean, I definitely can't remember eating no fucking... <laughs> I mean, I used to be very fussy, darling. So, uh, if that's happened, I don't know how that's happened. I've not got a clue. What are you doing your hair? Oh, cookie boo. Go and fucking chomp on a cookie and boo out of here, darling. Absolutely. The pins are in the skin, absolutely. Oh, darling. <laughs> Everything is either a conspiracy or a lie on TikTok. We absolutely don't. It's always something, isn't it? 
But it's my life, darling, so... I mean, I suppose if people want to think whatever they want to think, man, it's not my issue. I mean, it's just my life, and you know? So, no one cares what people are fucking trying to shit, though. Alex, I turn on the spa music, it's already on. Oh my lord. Oh. You look like a queen, my lord, sweetheart. I've never heard of anyone having safety pins in their body before. You need some Arabic husband roots. Foreign body or something is called the, um, that's what they call it. It's mad. Or something like that. Oh. How do you not get tired of reading these trolls' messages? Oh, my Lord. No, the safety pin's massive in my stomach. I don't know how they got in there in the first place, sweetheart. I affected. This is nuts. Anyway, it is what it is. They'll find out, darling. I've got to ring the doctors tomorrow. I should just go for a whole fucking MRI, darling, because obviously I've had the back done. Now I can detect if there's anything else. Because these things pick up on everything, so at least you can get sorted out if any fucking... Um, You've got to take care of yourself, you know. They'd rip the pin out. Yeah, but that could cause problems, especially um, if it's deep. So obviously if it's been in there, like, since I was a baby, it's a bit different, isn't it? So obviously they can see how much it's welded or if it's on this part, that part. Uh, obviously, I haven't spoke to no doctors uh, or got any advice of any doctors um, yet, only just listening to internet and looking at um, basically what it's called, the condition for having this. <laughs> I can't cope, darling. Why would this happen to me, darling? Probably did it when I was a baby. Well, this is what I mean. So, if that's in me from a baby swallowing fucking pins, then. because to be honest, how else would it get in there? The same life is like a movie. Oh, JJ, sweetheart. Do you think it was done to you? I haven't got a fucking clue, so you Maybe it is part of you now. I don't know. How did the therapy go?
Season 10 episodes for safety pin. <laughs> I've been meaning to tell you, CLA, you have to stop watching all the... Oh, my God. God, oh, the nonsense, yeah, absolutely, <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. Oh, shall I wish I could read a bit better, darling. Why are you getting extensions? I've already got them, sweetheart. <laughs> If you found out you had safety pins stuck inside you, I think you'd be fucking down, sweetheart. So how the fuck? Anyway, I better shut up. You know when you're impatient and you just want to speak to a doctor because you like, obviously. And you found out this, it's like, if it was in the daytime, you'd be at least able to phone up a doctor and, um, obviously speak to someone. That's what I'm saying, it's crazy, man. No, but it's going to be interesting to what to what the doctors say, you know, because these are the experts, so they know when they look. Obviously, when they look further, they can see how much it's embedded or if things have grown, you know. Oh, I'm sure these guys know everything. Tony, we love you. We have the best doctors and nurses in the UK. The absolute best doctors in the UK. <sighs> they, um, they like x ray and it use for your spine, so it's like, um, it's like a good camera in it, like an x-ray, basically, to look at your spine. And obviously your spine has an actual curve. And it shows, they have the thing in it, and they show you, like, basically how the spine is, you know, and how it moves and how you've got the gaps um, going down. And then you've got the discs in it. Looks like a fucking jam donut. Oh, mask off. I'm just gonna take my head down in a minute. You're inspiring, Ritz. Oh, when I wanna be done in. I can't believe it. I've just got so much shit going on, darling. I just don't need this stress, darling. Oh my lord, I swear, when I come off, I'm not going to come back on. I'm I'm affected. I'm going to be so affected. Imagine in my foot as well, because they'll be able to do a proper look in that as well. To see exactly what it is that's stuck in there. Because they can look through it, and it on these machines, they get to see everything. It's just like with your mouth, what they do. So you, honest to God, they'll be able to find out everything. Did I have an MRI? Well, you're more basically on the back, yeah. Basically, that's what it was like. Yeah? Anyway, because you could see through the whole body. Kind of, but obviously um, MRIs are more, they pick up everything and they're looking at everything in your body. This obviously is just looking at the bones. So, oh, sorry.
just think this is just the bones, then you've got all the other things, darling. No, but I'm on about everything in your body, what you've got. You know, because the MRI detects everything, in it? It scans everything, so if there's anything wrong with you, or you've got this or that, it's going to show everything. Affected and infected, but not for long, darling. Same, same, sweetheart. Oh. Oh, I'm really surprised this will be all over the FYP now. Yeah, so obviously anything that can look at certain bones and metals or whatever that's picked up in it, it's picked up because otherwise I would have never knew that I had a fucking safety pin. So maybe I've got more. Oh, okay, all well, miss roots. Oh my god, no, guys. I'm just tired, so tired, affected, affected roots with the, uh, with the blondes coming back, affected. No, I'm going to give it a bite, it's got conditioner on and I've put that oil thing, but I'm going to give it about six weeks. I'm not going to colour it, I'll do shit to it. It's got a nice strawberry blonde in it. It's nice. We love the blondes. Yes, it's going to be the best. But I've just got to give you all the vitamins, darling. <laughs> because obviously to take the colour out. So it's had the mask in it and then I've put the oil. And then obviously when you rinse it out and then just keep putting conditioner in it, just keep doing that every day and then it'll go good. And just scrunch it in. A cow kicks you. Mm. Yeah, there's so many cows around, darling. You have to distance yourself, darling. Yeah, I can't be asked going live no more. I think I was just waiting. <laughs> oh, my lips are dry, darling. Must be that bicard or so, though. God, is it bleached my lip? I mean, I was scrubbing it on my face and my lips, but it should be good. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, ring the council about the clips. Well, I'm full of clips right now, darling. A total eclipse of the fucking body. <laughs> We'll have all the fucking safety pins. It's insane, darling. I can't cope. There's just no other way to explain it. It's definitely, it's you know, it's definitely not going to be a mistake, is it? I mean, I wish it was. Imagine they've got fucking... But how would they have... I mean, it doesn't make any sense on an x-ray. So it's got to be definitely that's inside of me because there's no way that a safety pin, because they're doing a scan from your body. So it only has to show basically what's in your body. So that's in your body because 
there's just no other way. It's just nuts, mate. Talk about something else. At least just say for absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, but you know when you know someone, you just feel miles. Oh, you forgot I existed. Oh, yeah, that's why you're in here right now. Billy fucking no mate starting. Oh, my Lord. But anyway, don't think that I'm going to be just like this um, TikToker that's going to come live. No, you can get me to 20K else. I'll never come back. <laughs> so you yeah. We'll have all the blackmailing, so you are. And everyone can support us this uh, on the GoFundMe page. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Just get yourself over and throw in a fiver in the pot, darling. And when I launch my merch, you know, you will all receive a little something from Roots. But, you know, probably better that we you subscribe now anyway. Absolutely. Oh. I think Alpha put the clips down your throat. Oh, right. Really, darling. You do have a set fire to your money. Oh, darling. I'll pop it with safe. I don't even know what's going on, darling. I think the metal's getting to her sister, darling. Oh, pom-pom towel. Big yourself up, darling. He gave a fiver. Thank you so much, darling. Big up pom-pom towel. Is the merch actually coming? Absolutely. And you can uh, do it anonymously, so, you know, if you want it to remain private, uh -huh. which is a great idea. Or if you want to say hello, you know, just throw in a five, I will have all the shout outs. It's a shame I couldn't have put it on a bit lower, but it's just the standard price, you know. So I had to do the lowest. I've been to the airport, so this is the thing. I don't even know what's going down, so yeah. Beep. Must be plastic. <gasps> I'm looking forward to um, learning even more in regards to um, the whole technology. Tommy, thank you, darling. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, mate. Well, I've not really been in touch with reality because I've been in my own reality with you guys for so fucking many years. I know. But I don't know. They don't show you all that, do they? Um... I don't know. But I don't know, do they keep any records? If they must do, innit? I mean, I'll be on the system, darling. Absolutely. Because I'm sure the police have scanned me as well. I think that Miss Rissa go for me is so wrong. Well... We'll have all the opinions from everyone. Ellie. 
I need mods so I can get less. Um, I'll be off here now. Oh, my hair's come out good. Oh, no one cares what you say, you absolute idiot trolls. No one even responds to you. It's like, goodbye, darling. You know? Anyway, I'm out of here. I'm not staying on no more. I need a break. It's great, you know, and you're just having a break from this fucking social media. You like the blondes? Yeah, well, it's all about up and coming, darling. I've been on here grinding too much tonight, darling. And we'll let, I'll have enough of that, sweetheart. No one really cares no more unless you're paying me how much. Um, Tommy boy, thank you. So, yeah, I couldn't care less. Don't even give an absolute French tomato. I've got more important things to do, like look after my health, because that's my wealth, and... It's crazy. Alexa, stop. I don't want to listen to normal music. I think I'm more worried about my fucking safety fucking pen. How much is it in a GoFundMe? Really? Oh, it's just a five or so here. Peter Jones, CNA connection. <laughs> Peter Jones, darling. <sighs> oh, Angel Go, thank you. Big up, Jen, sweetheart. Thank you, darling. Am I going to get a real job? Well, I think this pays more than your average. Angel goddess, thank you, sweetheart. Fucking little haters. Tommy boy, thank you. The x-rays off. Tommy boy, thank you, darling. Um, goddess, I can't believe it, sweetheart. Affected. How the fuck? You should see the size of the safety pins on him. I'm sure you probably have. It's probably flying around the FYP. <sighs> Evil Queen showed it, did she, as well? well? I told her, yeah, to show it. <sighs> oh, my God. These trolls. No one cares what you say, darling. Tommy boy, thank you. It's hilarious. Prison time for tax fraud. Oh, Tommy. <laughs> Affected. Yes, it is crying. I was surprised, darling. Two subs. Yasser, don't lie. Uh, did you? Thank you. Big up Yasser if you did. Don't even try Yasser if you didn't know. No one can even see the screen light up, darling. Maybe send a few roses. Angel goddess. Thank you, goddess, darling. <laughs> oh, big up. Don't send me too much, goddess, though, because that's your money, man. Fucking keep the money. It's bad just to send roses. Because <coughs> even me now, I can't afford to. Pinar bitch has got to pay her tax and shit. I have to pay everything, man. Um, Absolutely, guys. Oh, my Lord. Pray for the new yard. What is that on my head? A silk scarf. But you're caught with the safety pin. 
I can't cope. Safety pins, jail, fraud. What else is on the list, sweetheart? I think you've missed a few things. Oh, goddess. We got goddess. Oh, so you gave the best. Thank you, Yasser. Did he give you a subscription, goddess? Oh no, I'm paying all my taxes. Are you crazy, darling? I don't never dream of not paying my taxes. <clears throat> oh yes, darling. This scarf's coming off me. We can't be getting away with not doing that. We all have to pay our taxes. Absolutely, and be professional. No, uh, I'm paying my taxes. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna get into debt and that, no chance. <sighs> Why are you bringing... Oh, we couldn't care less what they're saying. So why don't I pay for what, darling? Are you actually all right, sweetheart? Are you living in a fucking dimension cuckoo world, sweetheart? Cuckoo one in a too many nest, darling. Absolute dusty years. JJ, thank you, darling. Tommy, thank you. Oh, we don't care. Good morning, sweetheart. Good morning. I mean, you think these trolls would get bored by now? <coughs> oh, my lord. It's actually hilarious. Oh, <laughs> you lot are so funny. Options on aliens living in Area 51. Well, they're definitely a lot more advanced than me, darling. Probably, for sure. Oh, my Lord. No, this is sour. Thank you, Tommy boy. Sour pineapple. Oh, my Lord. I felt like eating yogurt.
The Observer, providing you with the latest TikTok drama from across the UK.